It's getting pretty chaotic in this Arma Anarchy server. For those of you that don't know, Arma Anarchy is a server which is mod enabled. It is total anarchy, so there are no rules and you can do and say whatever you want. And oh boy, it has some crazy history. Recently it has been struck by the emergence of a faction called the Anime Empire. They have claimed this small island off of Altus as their own and set up a capital city. In Arma Anarchy, because there are no rules, players naturally band together and form factions. This is heavily encouraged by the mods as it ensures you can survive in the wasteland. These factions take on their own identity, and when properly organized, they claim land on the map as shown here. The factions then decide to expand their territory by declaring war on others and occupying the land. It's safe to say that no area on the map remains in the same hands for long, or at least it rarely does. Some notable factions that have formed and developed their own nation are the likes of the Freedom Republic, the People's Soviet Republic, the Enclave, the New California Republic, and the Brotherhood of Nod, just to name a few. So now with this context in mind, you can imagine the shock to other large factions when a group of anime lovers and furries decided to move to a non-colonized island just off the coast of the Soviet Republic. Along with their Russian and Chinese allies, they decided that the only way to deal with such players was to use extreme force. The Russians began to shell the island just the other week. The anime empire has sustained a barrage of shells and missiles for a while, causing some player deaths and a lot of damage to their buildings. They have no real way to fight back, so they contacted the Freedom Republic via Discord and asked for protection. The Freedom Empire has one of the biggest and most advanced armies because they have a lot of money. They have one of the few navies on the server, so they decided to protect the Democratic faction by dispatching a ship to the strait. This angered the communist faction, so some bombs began to drop on the freedom capital city, Kavala. If you were a citizen going about your business like myself in Kavala at the time, you know the missiles dropping was super scary, especially with some of the mods enabled. But I supported the support to a newer and less established group. After all, on Arma Anarchy, players don't normally survive the spawn area unless they are protected by the NCR. The other day, raiders took pity on the anime lovers and began to sabotage the Russian artillery and troops along the road. If you didn't know, players which band together or act independently in gaining advantages through killing and stealing while not claiming any territory are called raiders. If you join the server, you will most likely start out as a raider, especially if you join with friends. But you will be given the opportunity to join factions or even make your own. After all, the Russians need the manpower to invade the island. Speaking of that, the Russians eventually send an air attack to the Empire City. The most recent update I received from this faction war was that the Empire gained new members and are still holding out on their island. The Russians lack the equipment to pull off an amphibious assault, which does cost a lot of money. Knowing some players, I have no doubt that the shelling will continue for a long time. What you need to understand about Anarchy Arma is, factions form all the time. Some are stronger than others and they're always at war. It's up to the bigger factions like the NCR and Freedom Republic to maintain a world order in some way. But obviously this is anarchy, so the big factions have their own goals and do not work purely for others. But from my trip down to the war zone, it seems that the Freedom Ship has helped a lot in deterring the Russian faction from trying anything too ambitious. I also heard that weapons have been sent to the Anime Empire to help them in case an invasion ever does come. You've got to admit that island is a pretty good defensive position, so hats off to them for colonizing it. I'll try to provide updates on this war, but other wars will probably spring up as new players join. For now, the server watches on to see how this will end. But what are the main goals of the Russians? It seems like they just want the total destruction of anything to do with furries and anime. I am considered a raider at the moment because I do not belong to any faction temporarily. I'm just a war correspondent and traveler trying to survive in the wasteland. It's really like Fallout with the groups trying to kill me or recruit me. This has been a brief look into the chaos of this Arma 3 Anarchy server. Remember that it is modded, so you will need a special launcher or subscribe to the list. There are also no rules, so beware. Hopefully you survive the spawn zone and meet the NCR. 
and hopefully the anime empire live to become prosperous on their island, though they will always be neighbors with two communist factions who hate them. Hit that bell button, my G. You know, subscribing to me is considered based and red-pilled. here and he's leaving you so he can do another video it's the hyper voxel yeah hyper voxel you spell it like it sounds hyper voxel h-y-p-e-r-v-o-x-e-l that is my bro